Hi there, I'm Victoria Pete, and in this video I am introducing to you for the very first time the mini foundation paper piecing alphabet. I've been working on it for such a long time and I am so pleased to finally be able to show you exactly what I've been working on. It's a, an alphabet, it's uppercase letters, but it's for tiny little blocks. They're one and a half inches by two inches in size. And in your pattern, you get the, um, the 26 characters from the alphabet, but you're also getting seven additional characters along with that, just for fun. Um, as my grandmother would say, just for fun and fancy to please old Nancy. You're getting a star, a heart, an exclamation mark, a dash, a plus, which you can use as an and, and then you've got a vertical arrow, arrow and a horizontal arrow. Uh, so you've got lots of variety and you can use these um, characters for so many different bits and pieces. You can use them to create words, phrases, you can do um, a sign for something, you can um, personalize the back of your quilt with your initials, or you can make a little kit bag for a child for school with their initials on it. You can use it in so many different ways. The extra bonus is that what I've done is I've designed these little blocks. So you can have a look at them. They're super cute. They're really dinky. Here's a V. I wonder if I did that one. I did that one for myself. Um, but I've done a little heart to show you as well. And this is the exclamation mark. So um, they're really cute. Um, and uh, I've put what I've done is I've made them the size so that you could um, integrate with those with the spools of thread. So here they are. I've done the, the V inside the spool and a P as well. The arrow, put your threads in here, I've made this little um, thread catcher. Um, one of my customers, Annie, made one of these and I thought it looks so fabulous, I thought I can't resist, I absolutely can't resist, so I've made one for myself as well. Looks cute, doesn't it? Um, so uh, yeah, it's nice and versatile, so you can use it in loads and loads of different ways. So what I thought I'd do is in this video, I thought I would show you how um, the pattern looks and what you're gonna get. And so, uh, yeah, you know what you're in for. So let's have a look at the pattern. Here it is. With your um, download that you, um, you purchase, you will get uh, a couple of different files. The first file you'll get is the pattern instructions. And then the second file that you get will be your, um, your pattern pieces. And your pattern pieces are um, supplied in two different formats. You will get them either where you have got one pattern piece per page, and then you've also got, if you want to just print out all the characters at the same time, all of the pattern pieces tiled together. So I'll show you those in a moment, but I thought I'd start off with just showing you the, the instructions. On the front cover, you've got uh, just a reminder of the letters of the alphabet. And then on the inside, it just takes you through how to print out your pattern pieces. Do make sure that when you're doing, um, you're using PDF patterns and ones that have got specific uh, measurements for um, foundation paper piecing or quilting, whatever it is, if you have to be specific, make sure that you always print out your pattern's actual size. But this pattern, um, you do need to do that. You need to print out an actual size. And uh, the instructions here will take you through how to do that. And there's a reminder and there's a link to a website. I've got here a list of the pages that you need to print out should you wish to print out just your um, individual A to Zs, or whether you want to do the special characters, just to guide you through that. This next page will show you how to um, understand each of those pattern pages, because I've put in lots and lots of information, and I'll show you one of those in a minute. But that's what this does. This will just tell you how to understand each of those pattern pages. And then we've got here uh, instructions on how you can make the most of it, as I say, combining it with your spools of thread pattern, how you can do that, where you can buy the spools of thread pattern, and um, some information about a new tut tutorial that will be coming along soon. So that's your main part of the pattern uh, that will be coming um, to you. On top of that, you've got all your, um, your different uh, instructions. So I'll show you those as well. So these are your individual pattern pages. Uh, these are all of them, all, uh, all the characters of the alphabet. Now, the, um, in terms of difficulty, some of them are super easy and some of them are more difficult. Do bear in mind the size of the finished, um, the finished blocks are quite small, so they are challenging in nature, but some of them you can make in one piece. So for example, this A character, you can create that out of one pattern piece, where, and this has been rated a one star, Whereas something like the B, this one's much more complicated and it's got sections and each of those sections have been shown for you here 
with orange lines and you can see here all the individual pattern pieces this has been rated three stars so it will tell you uh, before you go uh, headlong into doing any paper piecing exactly what it is that um, what you're dealing with and how difficult it is just to give you that little bit of a guide so don't uh, don't worry and uh, you're not going to bite, bite off more than you can chew without realizing so each of the pattern pieces, um, each of the pattern pages will have your layout diagram, which has been colored in for you. There's a blank one if you would like to just do some coloring or planning of your, um, your fabrics. You might want to do a, a letter that's got more than one color on it. This is your assembly diagram that reminds you of each of the different sections, if there are more than one section, on what those numbers are. I also have here the list in which you need to uh, assemble these pieces together. So for example, here where you've got one pattern piece, it will tell you this block is made up from one section only. Super easy, lovely, it will come together in one piece. The more challenging letters have been made up with several pieces and it will tell you the order in which you need to sew those together. In terms of the pattern pieces themselves, they've all been, I've done um, a clever, let me just see if I can show you on here. Uh, um, what I've done is I have shaded in let me see if I can get a slightly easier one for you to see. Um, I've shaded in with dots the sections that make up the actual letter so that you can see which parts are the, the, the coloured section and which are the background section, if that makes sense. That's what I've tried to do with all of those. Uh, so those are all shaded in on those and each one has also got the character that you're sewing in a little circle to try and help you remember. You might be sewing a big long sentence and you lose track of which letters are which, and you might be doing list different letters in different colors. So I've just given that extra little piece to remind you which pattern pieces belong to which letter. So those are all the individual letters. Um, you've then got all of your characters on top of that. You'll then get a piece of paper that talks about, um, uh, which will help you joining with your spools of thread if you want to do that. And then, as I mentioned, I've then also done all of the letters tiled together on, I think it's four pages, I can't remember, four pages, so that if you just want to print out all of them at the same time, you only need to print out four pages of A4 paper. And the pattern piece, pa pattern itself, and uh, the pattern pages are um, laid out in such a way that they will print out on A4 paper or US letter paper. So if you are in America or you happen to use letter paper elsewhere, then it will work on both. So don't worry about that. They are all laid out nicely for all of that. So that's it. That's the pattern for you. Um, I'm so pleased um, that um, we're ready for launch. The pattern testers have been working really hard to try and help me, push me, they've pushed me so hard to make sure that all the letters are all absolutely wonderful and super. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out. What I'll be doing is I will be um, recording some videos for you that will show you in real time how I make each of the characters. So if you get stuck, you'll have some um, point of reference to come back to. They'll be gradual, they'll get there in the end, um, but I will try and record all of those so that you know what you're doing. But yes, those are your pattern pieces. I'll just show you the, um, the pages uh, for your, um, that's for your spools of thread. If you wanted to buy that pattern, that's available. Or of course, you've got your mini alphabet pages as an example, just to show you. They're both available online and uh, you can buy that for immediate download and you can print and get going straight away. Um, make sure that you subscribe to YouTube because I will have the, um, the individual videos for each of the characters. I'm also going to have a tutorial coming up for this little needle book and you can see here I stuck a star in the middle but you could put um, someone's initial and that would make a really gorgeous gift for someone. And if you've not seen, I've also got a tutorial for this um, pin cushion completely free. Again, imagine putting someone's initial in the middle of that, that would make a fab gift or if you're doing a swap or something um, with a quilting club, absolutely super. Uh, so yes, that's um, everything I think I need to tell you. Uh, do subscribe on YouTube and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.